Hey, it's Bridget. I want to share with you a quick, a quick reading from this new card deck that I got. We'll call it an indie deck, independently published, and I just love it. It's from another YouTuber, The Truth in Story, and this is Kelly's deck here. It's pretty awesome. It's called The Journey Deck. And I was walking across, around the kitchen table here and I, they slipped out of my hands because these are such easy to use cards. They have almost this like plastic like coating a little bit that it makes it real easy to use for a good quick reading. And so they fell on the floor and a chunk of them fell on the floor and how they landed was this card was facing up. These two cards were on the left side facing down. These two cards were on the right side facing down. So the rest of them I kind of gathered up and just put them back in their little stack here. Don't you love this? Check it out. Look at that. You see the Merkaba image in there? I do. Oh yes, I do. And also the hexagon, the platonic solid for the this all that's like I wanted them to be like perfectly well sitting together here all right uh, for water the, for the water element all right you guys so here we go so I'm going to do an interpretation of this super easy you'll notice each of the cards has an image has a like a power word that I would consider a power word a keyword and an additional word as well to supplement or support that and then there's also a a symbol that Kelly has worked tirelessly to develop some symbols that are in alignment with each of these cards. The imagery, the painted imagery, that the art that is on the background, I mean, you can tell, and the colors. I mean, everything here is just, it's so easy to read these cards, you guys, so easy. And there's so many depths, levels, and layers of meaning, so you can really personalize this. I love these love them. I'm like so excited to be able to share them with you. So this is just a quick reading I did. So this one was face up, so I used it as my center. And it says upper world. If you work with shaman journeying and all, you know that the upper world means above. So like what some would consider like a heaven or the universe, etc. A really positive, really great place to connect with your spiritual guides, ascended masters and such. The fact that there's gorgeous tree branches here reaching up, up, up really spoke to me as a centering energy. The tree is a grounding element. No matter which type of a tree you're connected to, it is grounded into the earthly energies. And I happen to be working with oems right now, which are trees. It's wisdom of the trees, a way to do readings with tree energy. So this felt super good. It basically said, hey, Bridget, you are connected and you are also extremely spiritually connected during this time. So you're connected to your human life and grounded and connected spiritually to your healing helpers, your spiritual support team, lots of access to them. And at the same time, maintaining a balanced energy, a very balanced energy with the symbol of the tree. And because I've been working with the new tree energies, I have some in the OM that's a nod for this thing. Yes, your spiritual helpers are here to assist you with that process. So for you, this could mean, hey, your family or friends or your four-leggeds in the afterlife are saying a hello to you because of this card in the very center. This tells me support. You have support. This is a positive energy here. When I see this arc here, this feels like an energy of a window looking up like that you might see in an attic in an older home, looking out, a ventilation, kind of with an, an imagery, an energy of sunrise, positivity. That's what this feels like to me. Really grounded, centered, at the same time, spiritually aligned. Don't you love this? I told you this deck is awesome. So then how I decided to read these cards before I flipped them over, I looked at this spread and I really felt like this was the polarities or the balancing out. So the energies, when I do um, energy forecast readings for people, I have um, a client, a few clients that I do them for monthly, actually. I have one that I've done every month for, I think, over two years now. It's fabulous. Anyway, the basis of my energy forecast is the the kind of forms a wheel, like you can use it like a clock or a calendar. 
the imagery it also connects with the elements and the four directions so the native american medicine wheel and also just the directions a simple compass that we use to navigate in our human world as well so so many so many ways to format and structure uh, a reading and it felt right away to me, I felt this like balanced line, alignment, a line, but it felt like polarity. It felt like contrast. And so to me, I felt like this was west and this was east. So it's like a, a bridge or a line across to create balance here, like a meridian, an energy line or a meridian. And then what I did was, I know that when I connect with the west, when I'm doing an energy reading, an energy forecast, what West means to me is openness and expansion. It's like an it's like opportunities that are opening up. It's exploration. It's just an incredible sense of possibility and positivity and the new, the new, the new. So the cards that I got were were totally and completely 100% in alignment with that. If you work with the chakras, you'll know that both of these have that yellow chakra of the solar plexus, which is your spirit chakra and the sun chakra. As well, there's a bit of orange mixed in here, a little tiny bit on the edges here, and then a bunch here. These two cards are like they're made to go together. And they are because they're made for this particular reading. And so that orange is also the sacral chakra, so that's the hips and the pelvis, energy center, divine, feminine, divine, woman, desire, drive, ideas. So the sacral chakra and the solar plexus chakra work so, so well together. And I felt right away, yes, that's in alignment with this energy of West. Yes, this is open opportunity. And so for me, those two energy centers of my body are what are active and activated with this opening or expansion energy, this possibility energy, which makes sense. Solar plexus, my spirit, my spirit feels that energy, that hopeful optimism energy. I'm not gonna say hopeful. It's more of a optimistic, expanded potential for abundance, potential for, for major growth and positive, healthy ways. How about that? Sounds good to me. And it just so happens the images then, the I, me, look at me, here I am as a person, here I am, here I am. This also feels like a candle, like hope. Now I'm going to use the word hope, hope. And if you read it, it says will, which to me feels like a yes, I will do this. This will happen. That's what it feels like to me. You could interpret it for you as in will, like a strong desire, which fits with the orange of the sacral chakra and the yellow of the solar plexus working together. It also has the word confidence, which I really tend to feel into as the spirit, the solar plexus. It's cool that it's on this card that feels very sacral chakra to me because that's the, the confidence coming from the woman within me, that divine feminine support and that divine feminine leadership energy. That's what this feels like. So, so I love this. I hope you love it too. Then we have, then we have this energy of the child. When you see the child development, so personal, spiritual development, lots of opportunities for growth. That's what we have at the West direction. So we would expect that. But the fact that it's a child could mean new, fresh start, fresh beginning, a new phase, a new step, a new project. This could also mean, as for me, it feels like this means a part of myself and my experience in the past being integrated more fully. Here's this little part of myself. Here's a little piece of my soul being more fully integrated and coming in, having this time finally to be accepted in to the fullness of all that I am and all that I can be as I am becoming. So I hope you can feel the many possible interpretations of this particular card for you. Again, 
the energy here in the image, there's a tree branch, right? So this is connected to the roots and to the earth. So you're really held. This feels like human life experience earlier on, some experience that may have happened earlier on in your life, good, bad, however you would negotiate that, which created some belief systems or structures that now are different for you whether where you're at in your life. And so this is an opportunity to bring that past into a place of peace, bringing the past in, integrating this missing piece right here in and filling in that gap or that space, allowing for more light to pass through. So this almost feels like a missing piece to me. And it comes in with this, this energy from the past and allows for a wholeness. This beautiful imagery of the solar cross, it's a balancing of sort of to me what means a compass, a guidance, a direction for life, for your life, for our lives. The fact that the, you see this little spider here and this web here behind it, it means that we are weaving together the energy of your story, the energy of the storyline in this lifetime, understanding that there is a collective, genuine energy of connection. And it is here to support you, a web of support, a web of trust. It's not to entangle you or capture you. It's to support you so you can bounce back, so you can continue to explore, expand, and heal aspects of yourself and integrate that right in from that human life experience. That's what this feels like to me. The fact that this is below this tells me that this is the wanting, this is the momentum, and this is the underneath that is healing to come in to support that so there can be a move forward. Because to everything, remember I said there's a balance kind of line here, meridian, to everything that we are working with, working on, or working through, working with, working on, or working through, there is this desire to move ahead and this great momentum feeling, and then yet this feeling of mm, kind of something that stops you. This is the something that stops you. This is the opportunity for the healing, for the integration and the acceptance to come together and to move ahead and open to future possibilities. Sounds good, doesn't it? I told you these cards are awesome. Lots and lots and lots of levels of information here. So let's switch on over to this side. Now this side is the direction of, of the east, which is typically when I'm doing a session, it's the second week of the month, and it is more of a, a sensual, exotic, it is a mysterious energy. It's very mystic and mysterious. There's unknown here, there's mystery. And it's enchanting, it's very magical energy. And so, the fact that what I got here was the plant energy is super cool. It reminds me of, for me personally, the plant energy and working with the colors here of the red root, the berries. The, see, the, the red reminds me of root chakra, but we also have different two different forms of berries, which is abundance, which is receiving abundance. All this good stuff coming through this mysterious, mystical time. And the green is that growth, that opportunity, which also was here. This opportunity, this, this potential, this momentum, but it's very grounded, very rooted. And it's all about understanding and receiving the abundance from what has been planted previously, what we have put into the earth and nurtured. And then, oh, here comes my dogs. Here comes my dogs. Okay, so... This physical support means or tends to lean toward the physical body. <laughs> Sorry, I got kids coming in. Sorry. Um, the physical support part is about the human body and managing, rather manifesting into this human plane, the, uh, the things that has been planted previously. Look at this. It's like growing. The little seed is growing and then there's fruitful berries. Everything has a season and... There's a time to, to really be nurturing those seeds and, and, and choosing what to plant. And then there's a time to, to nurture and tend to those, those ideas that have been planted. And then, and then celebrating when there's all these fruits of your labor coming through. So it, it distinguishes, or this is identifying that there's all these parts and it's a process and it's mysterious. The process happens underground or, or it's not always visible, but growth is happening even when things are not clear to you or obvious to you. There's this really magical kind of mystery of the process. And this tells me 
to have faith in the process. And you have the support that you need here and now on this earth, on this plane. You 100% do as you are manifesting. And then we got, so remember, that's where the momentum is. This is like the balancing energies. This, then we have this energy vibration of the elder. The elder, and then the word is maturity under here. Now, this looks like the winter time. This actually, the colors, the grays, the blues, it's like more winter time. Remember, I said seasons, or cycles, process has different stages. This is the winter time, and this is where we're entering here, where I live in the Western Hemisphere. Here in Minnesota, in the United States of the Americas, we are entering in, in Minnesota, <laughs> to winter. And it's a time that is quiet, that tends to be more dormant, that we don't notice the massive growth that's happening below the surface. And because of that, it can seem like nothing is being done or nothing's happening, but a great deal of growth happens during this time period. Here we have basically a similar image to this. It's a mirrored image. So there is balance here on this side, this part of, of the, the reading. There's definitely balance because this is the child. It's the same image, but it's solar plexus yellow. And here, this is the elder and it's more of a blue but it's a lighter blue energy, which is the throat chakra, which is connected to the past, which makes a lot of sense here because elder maturity, you gotta have been around the block a few times in order to understand what this process is that's happening. And in order to have faith, have faith and trust in this natural life process. Now we see the spider again, and we see a web much more clearly here, well designed than we did here. This was the basics, this was the newness. This is more masterful. It comes with the seasons, with the understandings that you've had and you've been crafted. And now the part here that is missing or the missing piece here is what you are creating now in this next stage phase cycle of your life. And it will be coming in to join this circle, to join this solar cross, cross and balancing of energies. And so, again, you've got the tree, you're rooted, you're grounded, you've got this energy of connection here. And it feels like there's, again, once again, a lot of support for this stage, this place you are in, in your life. And give yourself more credit, by the way. That's how this feels like it's coming through. Give yourself more credit. You know how this goes. You know what to plant. You know what's best for you or feels right in alignment for you at the time that you're making the decision. Do not play Monday morning quarterback. You know, it's like hindsight is 2020, right? <laughs> Funny how that how that goes, isn't it? We've learned so much during this time. Do not negate what you have learned. Even if it's been difficult, even if it's not obvious, it will help serve you as you move ahead, look ahead with optimism to the flourishing energy of what you are planting here. Remember, mysticism and and mystery of the process is completely natural. It's not supernatural, it's very, very natural, it's very organic, so rely on your inner wisdom and trust the process, have faith in the process. All right, so there you go, isn't that cool? What a cool reading with this journey deck. This is from the Truth in Story YouTube channel. It's an indie deck from a very talented artist named Kelly. And so I will put the link below so you can access and check out her YouTube channel. I don't know her personally. I just know of her work. I came across it when learning about Owens. And I was very impressed with her research, her historical data and information, and her energy of connection and deep, deep caring. Here's another card. Let's pull this one for us as we're connecting in. Ooh, receptive and stillness. Okay, this feels like a nice balanced card, bringing the two sides together, having kind of a grounded piece. Don't you think we need one up here? Do you think we need one up here? Let's do one up here for you. I'm gonna pull this one right here. 
day and night. Again, balancing, here we go, day and night. Look at this, hello friend, here we go. Open, stuff is happening, opening up, opportunity. And then here we are with this quiet energy, this nighttime energy that connects with the earth, that supports the earth and the natural cycles of growth and the patterns of growth. When you think about the farms and you think about the flowers and you think about how we plant and then when we harvest, right? Later, later that comes. But the winter is the time, the, that winter solstice here in the Western Hemisphere is in December. It's only a couple of months away. And we enter into this time. It is definitely a time of stillness. So we've got the day and night, the balancing. It's just all about that balancing and your alignment within. Isn't this cool? I told you this is so, so, so amazing. I look forward to doing much more, re many more readings with this card deck. This is Bridget at Fairy Grasshopper Channel. Thanks for watching, Fairy Grasshopper. I share interesting card deck readings for you to help to inspire your spirit, to fill you with hope, to encourage you to live your life. This is your life after all. This is yours. Interpret it how it works best for you. It's your life now, so go live it. Just live it. Thanks for watching.